Okay, buddy. That's gonna help the bite. Oh, look at this coming. I got one. I got one in the tsunami. Oh my God, I'm for so <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it. Dude. Dude. All right, guys, me and Mitch are getting ready to leave for Michigan, fishing a tournament tomorrow. He's going to pull his boat and truck around. We're going to grease the bearings on that thing because I think last time he came to Michigan, his wheel bearings set on fire. So that was fun. So we're going to grease those up and then we're going to get on the road. Stay tuned. Well, Mitch missed the highway, so we had to make a nice U turn. I don't know where to go. Pulled in the jewel parking lot. You're taking a left oh. and then you're going to get on the highway. All right guys, so we are currently in Michigan. We just crossed the border and I told Mitch, we gotta get something to eat because I'm starving. And he's like, what is this place called? Red and Max. Red and Max, which I go to Michigan all the time and apparently it's some famous Michigan burger joint or something that I've never even heard of in my entire life. So we have to get off the highway and then get back on and turn around. It's only like two miles away. Uh, I will bring the camera in there. It's supposed to be some Jesus burger place. So we're gonna see how this goes, stay tuned. There it is, three quarters of a mile. Bite into a legend. Yeah, don't get that. <laughs> Too bad. All right, this place is absolutely packed. It's 2.30, he said this is not even busy. It's literally 2.30 and there's like probably at least 100 cars in this parking lot. And this place doesn't even look big. How, how do 100 people fit in here? I don't know. That's really pretty questionable. Since 1946. Absolutely popping. Is it popping? No. Mitch claims his burger is going to change my life. Is this true? Yeah. It's going to change my life, okay? We're just waiting on our server to come back so we can order this thing, right? She, she didn't come yet. Huh? She didn't come yet. Oh, we didn't even get a server. We just got seated. We're waiting for the server. Then we're going to get the life changing burgers. Okay, update. We're still waiting on these life changing burger burgers. We've been here for like 20 minutes. This thing's going to be worth it. Is it going to be worth it? This is supposedly the life-changing burger, so we're gonna see how this goes. All right, guys, we just finished eating at Red Max over there, and it was pretty good. I don't know if I would call it life-changing. No, it was. Good. I don't know if it was life-changing, but it was pretty good. So onwards to Michigan, and we're still probably about 30, 40 minutes out, so gonna catch some fish. That's trippy. To get those fancy lights. If you have these lights, it basically means that you're Kevin Van Dam. So yeah, I mean, you got it. I mean, them. if we don't win with these lights on this boat, I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. We're at the gas station. Mitch is gonna fill up the boat. I'm gonna grab some food. I think he's, he has to put premium in here because this boat is like a baby. So gotta make sure you uh, keep it nice. Some breakfast of champions. Donut and a Cliff Bar. What'd you do? <laughs> Don't leave the transom saver on. Hey, you want? Hey, you need these. Hey. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah. <laughs> we got like, I don't know, 20 boats or so. Some people are still lining up. It doesn't start until seven o'clock, and it's 6:43, so we got like 17 minutes left. But I don't have any of the equipment that I wanted. I wanted a different drop jet hook. I don't have that. I want a line for my jig rod. Don't have that. Uh, I'm using his poppers and a crankbait from him that I don't really want. And I wanted a different crankbait, but basically we're just using a bunch of stuff that we don't want. And he's adding oil to the boat. And we're gonna start in like 15 minutes here. So stay tuned. <laughs> little, real little. Still on that spook. Caught a little baby bass. First cast in this little pocket. You gotta be kidding me. I wasn't, I wasn't recording. Mitch just got a first keeper and it's a solid, it's a solid like 15, 15 and a half incher stocky guy. I gotta catch a fish bigger than freaking five inches. Yet, I don't know, cause I'm yet to do so and I want one. I mean, a keeper would be nice, but at least one over five inches, like. 
No. He's long and skinny though. He's better than five inches. He's not a keeper though. Whoa, my God. It's crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> what? That might be a better one. Oh yeah, 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 Boom. You have one. <laughs> oh. No. What is he, 13? No, he ain't maybe. <sighs> I just missed something big, man. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> They're like... Oh, yeah, I oh, stopped. Yeah, he's like a 13 and a quarter, maybe. Good one? Where the hell's in that? Ooh. He looks like he's a decent. Oh, yeah, baby. He's looking good. Oh, he, yeah. he keeps all day. <laughs> and you got a nice flash around here, too. Join the club. Does it even work? No, got one. Good one. Decent one. Maybe. I might keep. On the crankbait. <laughs> It might be. It's going to be close. Oh. Yeah, he keeps. Yeah. That touches. That's a sad keeper. Put him in the right. <laughs> That's a sad looking keeper right there. Look at this. <laughs> That's a baby. Oh my God, that was a good one. Oh my God, that was a good one. You got a good one? Get him in the boat. <laughs> Dude, I just got wrecked by a big one too. <laughs> Especially like the ones that have anchors on them. If you hit the anchor, that's where they sit. Cause you're on a, like that. No, no, no. What? No net. Oh, wait. Bump him. No, he ain't. Bump him. He's not helping. Why? Oh, oh, we have five. Yeah, we have five fish. If he keeps it, yeah, which I don't, I don't know if he would have kept, but if it did, he wasn't helping. I don't think he was small. What? Am I gonna catch one? Yeah. It's not looking good. Oh, there's one right there. That looks like a good one. Where? On my jig. I just watched that thing eat it. No. Oh my god. Watched. Watched him eat it. I got one. I got one in the tsunami. Oh my god, and we're soaked. <laughs> no, I got it. Dude. Dude. Oh, you got one too? Oh, you're in the trolling motor. Oh my god. They just soaked the entire front deck. Mitch's trolling motor is just sitting in a cesspool of water. There is zero boater etiquette going on over here. Yeah, we're just working our way up this bank. I know, but you're like right in the path. There's like two people boats here, and there's one up there. Yeah. And they both come this way. So All right. really just, it's not going to work out for you guys. I'm sorry. It's All right. Case, we're just going to fish this, though. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind me, <laughs> we're fishing a tournament for money, so we're, we just know, we caught a bunch of fish. Here, That's going to do our job. Yeah. And That's fine, though. You're stopping us from having a good time too. Okay, I know this is our area. You don't own the water. It's a public lake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just gonna fish this. Alright. That's okay. Alright, we're working our way. We're going. Slowly but surely. All right. If one of those hooks go through our kids, you're going to have a huge problem. 
We aren't casting near people. All right. So, I don't know, I guess you're not allowed to fish a public body of water. So far it hasn't given us any like crazy bad luck today, so. You don't have, oh there's a good one. That's a good one. That's, that's gonna help. Oh, that's gonna help, I think. That's a stocky guy. I don't want to. That one. Okay, we're calling this fish out. We almost lost two bigger fish than him, but he's the one that's going home. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Water. Seven pounds, twelve ounces. Bunch of dinks. This leg of the woods donkey. Let's get on camera. What'd you catch that on? Uh, a chicken curl. Awesome. Sweet fish. Alright guys, also realized I did not have an outro for this video, so kind of just going to go over what we did for the tournament and everything. But uh, we didn't pre-fish for this. This lake's got a ton of little fish in it, so we knew that just catching a limit would be essential. And we did that pretty early on. We had like probably a limit for six and a half pounds, and I was able to make that last call that called out that little crankbait fish I caught, which was really key. But other than that, we were just throwing jigs out deep for the most part, and that was how we were getting the majority of our bites. We caught so many short fish. We probably caught at least 50 fish over the course of the day. I think maybe seven keepers, which it's 14 inch limit in Michigan. So really not a phenomenal day by any means, but we ended up in fourth place. We got like $50, so I think it pretty much is like we won $5 because it was a $45 entry with Big Bass. But uh, still a ton of fun, and I mean, we pretty much got to fish for free that day, and uh, it was pretty good. But other than that, if you guys notice, I don't know how much I got on camera either because, like I said, I haven't edited this video yet. But there was this camp on the lake that we were fishing, and there were, like, all these Australian camp counselors that were, like, saying we couldn't fish there and they wanted the lake so they could have speedboats going through. They had, like, different access points where they had speedboats going by and picking up kids, going out around, then coming up and picking up kids again. There was three different access points that they were trying to use. But that was like one of the only spots we were getting bit at. And actually when they started speedboating, we were getting more bites. Even though the speedboats were going right over the spot we were fishing, I think it was stirring some stuff up and the bass were just going crazy. I caught like five back-to-back -back casts where they were screaming at us and speedboating in front of us and it just really turned the bite on. But they were trying to get us to leave the spot and I just, I wasn't gonna have it because it's a public lake. Like we are allowed to be there. Just because they have a camp on the shore over there doesn't mean they could just freaking claim all the water as their own. And I think four different counselors came up to me and tried to get us to leave the spot and I just absolutely refused. Finally, the head of the camp came out there and he basically sided with me. He said, yeah, it's a public lake. You guys can do what you want. He's like, just try to stay away from the kids. He said the kids were getting scared of the hooks, which first off, we were casting nowhere near kids because obviously I don't want to hook a kid. And it's just, I would never cast near a kid in the water because that's just dumb. So I told him, they, like, we're staying far away from the kids and everything, but really the thing that like pissed me off the most is they were driving the speedboats on on plane like flying past kids within like four to five feet of a kid like you can't ride a speedboat that close to a kid and then complain about a boat just floating down with a trolling motor not even getting near anyone like that just doesn't make any sense and I just don't know what they were trying to do and they were just trying to intimidate us and get us to leave because apparently we were in their way or whatever but I mean it all turned out 
for the best. I mean, we got fourth place. We really just needed that that fifth kicker fish. It would have helped out a ton. We needed like a three pounder or something. I think uh, eight pounds, 10 ounces, one, and we had seven pounds, 10 ounces. We were a pound out, and our smallest fish was like a pound. So really all we needed was like a two pounder, but I don't know, guys. Hope you enjoyed this vlog tournament video. I don't know how it's gonna look. Like I said, I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know which direction I'm gonna try to take. But other than that, like I said, going creek fishing within like 20 minutes. So it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna catch some big old smallmouth, hopefully. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you next time.